God has a purpose. God has a plan. God has power to ensure that his purpose and plan are carried out. Particularly, we look then at the certainty that the scripture tells us that God is good. And we should never forget that. God is good. We are on the Lord's step of celebrating what we in this country celebrate as Thanksgiving. And the calendar date really is the fourth Thursday in November. And yet, for Christians, for those of us who know and love the Lord every day, it's a day of Thanksgiving. There's a day of Thanksgiving. And as I have said previously, my objective, my, my aim, my goal is to just press the issue that God is good. We need to learn that. We need to know that. We need to, it has to be a part of us. So again today, we want to look at the scripture and see just how good God is. The psalmist begins in Psalm 100 and says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. There should be a joyful sound when we gather together and corporately come together with singleness of purpose to give glory and honor to the Lord. It ought to be a joyful sound in the church. He goes on then in the next verse to say, serve the Lord with gladness. So then, from a perspective of purpose, it is not only to just make the joy of a noise, but then to also add to that serving the Lord with gladness. Y'all follow that church? If we don't put those two together, then over in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, Apostle Paul said, we are simply sounding brass and tinkling cymbals. We may be making noise, but it is not honoring and glorifying the Lord if we don't add to it our service. Yeah. And serving the Lord, church. That's our reasonable service. Yeah. Serve the Lord not frowning, not, not complaining, not fretting, but serve the Lord with gladness. You and I ought to be happy that the Lord doesn't even want to use us. Yeah. Let's be You can't be 
guessing about whether or not you're saved. You got to know you have given your life fully, wholly to Jesus Christ and that he's the Lord of your life. You got to know that. Know that the Lord, he is God. Is that in your Bible? That the Lord is God. Amen. Not the preacher. Amen. The preacher is not God. Amen. The president is not God. Amen. The president elect is not God. Amen. The psalmist said, You got to know that the Lord is God. Amen. And when you know that the Lord is God, then even when men go to trip it, Jesus taught that 
there was a shepherd that had a hundred sheep. Yeah. Yeah. And a man of them yeah. came to Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 tying our international words. <laughs>
Repeat. 